Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought I'd show you my plants during spring and during the winter time, what the, they went through and the garden. So firstly, let's show you my conservatory and what I've been growing inside. So first, like, as, as you can see, this is this citrus tree lost all its leaves because of the winter. I will hopefully it will come back. I can still see green on this trunk. So I think it'll come back. I'm not sure. And this um sea tray have got calendula as you can see. And I've been growing calendula just because I thought they were really beautiful last year, so I thought I will grow calendula this year as well. So I have how many cells? 24 cells. And here I have marigolds. 24 cells as well, some of them are sprouting now and some for the calendula sprouting as well and here I have 24 cells of petunias let's see if some of them are sprouting yeah I think that one's sprouting and that one is sprouting as well and these um, 20 um, cells have so these three rows one two three these have um, um lulu lettuce and these two rows have the citrus seeds just for fun and these six cells have also marigolds the same variety as that and this part i have been growing some dahlias one variety of dahlia and decorative crazy love it's called and it's really beautiful color I thought we just tried some dahlia plants this year. So I've been growing some, one dahlia, I think it's been two weeks. And I can't see any sprouts, but it says that it will take like two, three weeks. And these two are just normal primroses. And this is just a cherry tree, which died last year. Might grow back, it might not even grow back. And because of that, I bought a new cherry tree the last year's one died because of the winter so this is a new cherry tree and this variety is not a cherry stella like that one it's called cherry hazelfinger it's also sweet cherry and actually really good but the downside is that not self-pollinating cherry tree so i need to buy another cherry tree next year because now the cherry trees are sold out i didn't know it was not self-fertile and this grows up to five meter tall and I really love it. I hope the cherries actually taste really good. And I'm seeing some growth um, right here. You can see green growth here, growth up top. I can see growth everywhere. So this year I bought a grapevine first time. As you can see, grapevine have some big buds. How many buds? About three, four, six buds. Yeah, six buds and I hope they grow and here I have my avocado plant which I grew from seed uh, two years ago last year I don't remember I think like, yeah it was last year so it's grown really good and I've been growing this in this conservatory now it's really tall about maybe half a meter two three I think two foot um it's really big and beautiful and hope it actually grows one meter about above one meter tall this year and this is a black plum plant or three which i grew three years ago lost it all this leaf I, th I think it's dead it might not be i can still see roots uh it's right i can grow again it's because of the winter it died i think this is just the conservative plants and i have to go outside to show you my Plum tree, which actually is in blossom, and other um, bushes and plants as well. The outside now, it's windy. You can see the fan. It's actually windy today, but it's not that windy. It was really sunny day. Sorry for your noise. This helicopter is just flying around for just 10 5 minutes of sun, finally, sunlight. Um, it's been flying around just. 10 minutes now, I don't know why. So, I think you can hear me clearly. 
but I'm just gonna try my best. Firstly, let's go to the plum tree. The plum tree is growing nicely. You can see the blossom on the lower stems, except these stems. You can see the blossoms and the sprouts, or uh, sorry, the buds. It's really beautiful, full of blossoms, and to see yeah, we might even have some plums. That's exciting. And then, as you can see, I have a raised bed here, which consists of um, some onion plants which I planted last year, or grew from seeds last year, rather. Um, they've been here, I haven't even picked them. I'm just gonna let it go. These two are clematis. So that one's Clematis Lady Diana, that was Clematis, uh, I can't remember, I'm just gonna put the name. You can see the plants around, these are just Dianthus, these plants around, just Dianthus. And this one's just a mint plant. That one's the strawberry tower. And strawberry staircase with strawberry plants. And here I'm just gonna plant the cherry tree which I bought. Here you can see that's a um, blueberry plant, which is I think growing, you can see the bud, it's growing nicely. That one's blackberry, it's really huge. And these stems are actually last year's growth and blackberry actually produces its fruit, berries on last year's growth. So this year we will actually be having so many blackberries and that's really exciting. And these three pots, is going to be some flowering plants. The, last year I had marigolds, you can see the marigolds. This year I may even plant petunias. These are carrots and this raised bed. But these actually going to be moved and not be used anymore. Same with these pots, same with that staircase. And here I've cut my uh, hard pruned my uh apple tree it's called pollarding so it's gonna go it's gonna sprout from it each of the stems and i did that because it was really tall really big and it's actually god's not looking really nice at this time of year i need to clean that up as you can see i haven't even grown grown some um vegetables and this year i will actually not be growing any vegetables uh, except lettuce or spring onions, something like that. It's because I've just got a quick groom. A vegetable takes just so much time. I'm not gonna stick with fruits and berries. And that's it for the backyard. So next, I'm gonna show you uh, my front yard and it's gonna be next video. So just enjoy this video. Thanks for watching, bye.